Hey what's up guys, E Rivera94 back with another action figure review and today we are looking at the Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series. This is Moff Gideon from Star Wars The Mandalorian. Here's the front showing the Moff Gideon, on the side we get an image of the, uh, the actor right there. On the side, nothing on the back side. Same image with a read up on the left side that says, Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry. Clever and formidable, Gideon values power and knowledge. There you have it. In case you guys were interested in picking up this figure, you can do so at Big Bad Toy Store. I provided some links down below where you guys can order yourself a set. Right, so here we have Moff Gideon out of the package. Now this figure doesn't come packed with much, just like most Black Series figures, but he does come packed in with a all new sculpt, obviously, and very nice details and likeness to the actor, uh, Giancarlo Espo Esposito, I think his name is. Probably said the name wrong, so sorry. All in all, this figure looks pretty darn good. I'm pretty happy with it. The face isn't 100% spot on, but it's pretty darn good for a $20 Black Series figure. It's not horrible, but it is not perfect. Skin tone's a little bit lighter than what I think it is. Um, I think it should have been just a little bit darker. Now, Moff Gideon comes with two accessories, one being his little blaster pistol. Uh, if I could focus right here, it's got a little scope on it. It's just black plastic. And then we get the Dark Saber, which is the first time we get the Dark Saber in Black Series, which is very cool. The Dark Saber was revealed at the season finale of season one, right at the very end, and it was uh, shown quite quite a bit during season two. This is removable; the blade is, so now you can just have him holding the hilt if you so wish. So that's pretty dope. There he is holding the pistol in his right hand. You can see he can firmly grip the pistol just fine. Only his right hand has a trigger finger, so you're not gonna really hold it on his left hand there and then here's a look at the pistol holstered on his side right here so you can either have it holstered or in his right hand now you can have the dark saber in his right hand but since that is a trigger finger hand this one uh, the hand on the left is sculpted more to hold the dark saber more properly and there you have it nice firm grip on the hilt there and it looks really really good here is your close look at Moff Gideon, and you can see he's just got a very uh, neutral, aggressive face right there. Looks pretty cool. We've got the gloss on the torso armor piece down to the lower torso and the shins and feet. The cape is a removable piece that's only held by that peg right here, so it does tend to fall off sometimes when you move it around quite a bit. Um, it will fall off, but he does look pretty cool without it too, in case you want to display him without it. So taking a look at the articulation, the head is on that ball joint peg, not a hinge, so he doesn't look up too crazy. Does not look down too crazy either, left and right is just fine. Slight head tilt, we do get a neck uh, movement, not too much, but there's something. Arms are going to go forward and back, they go in and out, we get soft rubbery plastic for the uh, shoulder guards. No. Um, bicep swivels, but we get the single jointed elbow that bends very very far more than 90 degree And we get the swivel at the elbow swivel at the wrist with a side hinge for the right hand and a regular hinge for the left hand there Diaphragm joint that moves around very very deep and heavy you can see there the tilts are pretty deep forward and back uh, the the skirt piece down here is a separate piece, so it uh, allows for more movement of the legs going forward and back, in and out, thigh swivel. We get a single jointed knee right there, swivels at the knee, and we get a ankle hinge with a rocker at the foot. So first off for our comparisons, we have the Mandalorian and Beskar armor with the child on the left side there. You can get a sense of the scale there next to the child or Grogu and uh, we see Mando is standing a little bit taller than Moff Gideon. And up next we have the armorer on the right side and we have Cara Dune on the left side. And here we have the Moff next to a couple of stormtroopers. These are the new stormtroopers based off of the Mandalorian release. Since this was the scene from the first season, that last battle at the end, uh, we had the clean troopers uh, we're all lined up behind Moff Gideon. 
And then using that same exact body mold, Hasbro gave us the Remnant Stormtrooper, which are the first Stormtroopers to appear in the Mandalorian TV show. Alright guys, so that's going to pretty much do it for my review of the Star Wars The Black Series, the Mandalorian Moff Gideon figure. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video review and found it informative and helpful in your purchasing decisions. Uh, I recommend this figure. I think it looks good. I think it's great for the price. It's not 100% perfect. It never will be, but it is a great looking Moff Gideon figure. All in all, Hasbro did a good job, and I'm very excited to get some more Mandalorian figures from the show. Characters, especially Dark Troopers, that's gotta come. Huge army building opportunity there. I think people are gonna go crazy for the Dark Troopers once Hasbro releases it. You guys know it's coming. It's gonna come. Alright guys, that does it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. Bye. That's crispy.